today new official information came out about the upcoming changes to the equipment system so let's talk about it and go over everything what's going on guys cheers oh my god soda got everywhere so the official rise of kingdoms facebook page is at it again posting new content in different languages to different rise of kingdoms pages that we don't have yet here in english this image is accompanied by a ton of updates coming in 1.0.49 you can see that in the little stamp right here and this there's a lot to cover in this image alone so let's take a look really quick okay we have the revival chest piece right here if we take a look at it in game you can see it's an epic piece of equipment archer attack obviously you also have 40 of the epic ebony and you have what's this uh, 20 of the epic leather for 6 million gold you can quick forge this particular chest piece with the new update it looks like the gold cost went down but this is a legendary piece of equipment now and it also uses feathers and bones didn't they used to have feathers back in the day what the original equipment system did that have feathers or am i losing my mind i i don't actually remember but you actually can use bones now which is exciting and the big thing here is the refining process right so you see here this is 50 percent of the way to refined and apparently you can get crits on refining as well so this has huge implications right this has huge implications and we're going to go over all of the text here that is translated roughly from the facebook page some of this we've already seen before some of it is also brand new so bear with me as we go through it okay if you guys are curious about when this update is going to come out we don't have an official date right now i feel like it's going to be maybe two weeks one week if we're lucky three weeks if we're not first or second week of august maybe i don't know so the first point here is we've added a new equipment refining system which they've already talked about in an in-game mail officially sent out to everybody but just as a recap governors who failed to forge an item with a special talent can now refine it equipment now starts with a refinement level of zero which can be refined through 100 to grant special talents so this is exactly what we saw in the in-game mail they're basically saying that over time you'll be able to guarantee a special talent and you'll see your progress along the way instead of dismantling and reforging over and over and over again uh, refinement can also trigger critical bonuses ideally keeping the same positive aspects of the previous forging system so essentially just like when you're donating to your alliance technology for example there's a chance of getting a 2x 5x 10x bonus towards your crit so if you're lucky you may actually get your special talent on your equipment faster as long as you continue to get critical bonuses which is really really exciting and we can see that displayed in the image here it looks like they clicked the refinement button and instead of getting the normal amount of of refinement progress uh they were granted a 2x so there's still a bit of rng that can work in your favor which is nice however the improvement here is that you're gonna see your progress over time moving on we have equipment forge adjustments forge will still produce special talents from time to time but the chance of this happening will no longer increase they talked about this in the original mail that we got a few weeks ago uh it says instead this chance will be fixed at the initial probability provided originally before these changes so that means every time you forge a piece of equipment there's an 11 percent chance of getting that social talent if not you will have to continue to progress through with uh with this progression system here also governors will be pleased to see that any equipment in which they tried to forge special talents will now inherit a certain amount of refinement this does not go to the equipment at an early forge stage i don't know what this in parentheses means because i think this is just a poor facebook translation but what this is basically saying is if you've crafted something dismantled it crafted again dismantled it and you still haven't gotten that special talent that progress towards getting your guaranteed special talent is going to be converted into this new progress bar here so don't worry if you've been dismantling and remantling an epic piece for example maybe the revival plates or for me it's like Karak's humility right i've dismantled and reforged this multiple times and i still have yet to get a third special talent on it so whatever progress i've made here is going to be transitioned over into the new system that we see here which is good that means you can continue to forge until this system comes out so if you've been not forging because of this don't worry you can keep forging and your progress will be saved if you destroy these items you'll still be able to activate the inherited effects next time you forge them the cost involved in the new optimized forging and refining system will be the same as the previous system he imposes no additional cost so again the updated system is going to cost the same amount it's just going to be progress over time okay bullet point number three new rules limiting the accessibility of certain equipment in order to keep a lost kingdom as balanced as possible we've decided to restrict the following gear items to a ach to achievement season so i guess this is achievement uh, season of conquest this is poorly translated obviously but basically all of the late game legendary equipment uh, is only going to be used in season of conquest we already knew that as well 
adjustment to the trunk of equipment awards so governors who open the chest of equipment in the tavern just so everybody is aware they're referring to the equipment chest over here in the tavern okay which was something that people were confused about in the original mail now we have some more clarity adjustments to the equipment chest in the tavern now have a chance to receive equipment plants at all levels of quality instead of just plant fragments so again poor translation this is blueprint okay i'm assuming this is blueprint because it's not blueprint fragments anymore so basically what they're saying here is that you now have the ability to get full blueprints from the equipment chest in the tavern and you also will be able to get speed ups resources and the cost of the keys that you get or the cost to buy a key for this chest has remained the same number of gems point number five is really interesting it says while we've kept the interval in which the blacksmith produces the materials we greatly increase the amount of materials given at each occasion so what this means this timer hasn't changed at all but the amount of materials you get for the same amount of time has gone up according to this post so instead of getting 10 you'll get more than 10 for the same amount of time it looks like they've also added the advanced blueprint fragment choice chest and the normal blueprint fragment choice chest to the vip store according to the governor's diverse needs now i don't really know what they mean by this are they talking about these advanced blueprint choice chests because i don't think anybody was really asking for these i don't think anybody has a shortage of these either i mean i have I've literally thousands of them i should be getting rid of these for alliance credits honestly now that i look at it we also don't have a normal blueprint fragment choice chest right they just they, they don't exist so this is going to be a bit more clear once this actually comes into the game and we see all of the changes that they've made even still as long as these cost a small amount of resources to purchase every single week it's probably going to be worth it so you can convert them into alliance credits which you can then use to purchase just passport pages so yeah there's a lot that needs to be cleared up here and i'm sure we'll find out soon this next bullet point says now there's a much greater chance to get items based on materials from the mysterious merchant at the mail i don't really know what this act the mail means but it looks like there's an increased chance of finding equipment materials in the mysterious merchant which is nice that's one of the main things that i like to purchase from the mysterious merchant so this is really good hopefully the, the cost of this is decreased as well finally we've made some adjustments to the equipment blueprint and materials rewards in sunset canyon golden kingdom shadow invasion ian's ballads and Soroli. so this is really really nice hopefully this adjustment gives you more materials and better equipment choice chests for blueprints that would be my hope of course if they make this worse that would just be terrible but uh if they're increasing the rewards that you get for the equipment system for sunset canyon this is going to be extremely good for free to play and low spenders because as i've said in many guides before free to play and low spenders should be grinding sunset and lost canyon as much as possible right you want to push as high as you can and always do them every single day because it's a great way to get equipment for those low spenders and if they're increasing the rewards here that's really good news so that's pretty much it it looks like this is going to be a pretty big re vamp of the equipment system hopefully for the better i actually do prefer the current equipment system over the previous one so as long as the next one is better than this one i think they're moving in the right direction guys make sure you drop a thumbs up on the video it really helps out the channel a ton and it helps get this video out into the youtube algorithm so the rise of kingdoms players might see it as always if you're new around here make sure you subscribe to the channel and click that bell to be notified the next time that i upload a rise of kings video as always my social media links are in the description below so make sure you follow me over there on instagram twitter facebook discord all that stuff is always down below as well as a link to download rise of kingdoms absolutely for free for your pc it's a program called blue stacks it's my favorite way to play i love seeing the game on a bigger screen downloading with my link does support the channel for free and if you don't like the program you could always uninstall later and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omniarch i will talk to you guys again soon peace